never looking back again. Historically, the Americans threw us out and they've spent the last few hundred years idolising us. Don't see me so far away. They sort of made us this little chocolate box country that they take all the best bits from and go, look, look how great they are. Pole Dark, Downton Abbey, you know, the royal family. They are absolutely obsessed with it. So to look into this, we went to a garage in LA where these two women have set up a channel. Ah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Anglophile Channel, sir. Thank you very much. A channel that celebrates all things British. Hello. This sort of historical notion of the British does leave you a little bit speechless, really, doesn't it? Because it's sort of so out of whack with where we are. I'm Julian Fellows, and you're watching the Anglophile Channel. Welcome to Pub Crawl and Tea Time. Today, we're going to be taking afternoon tea aboard this classic Routemaster double-decker red bus. Are you Downton Abbey fans? Yes, we are. And do you have a favourite? Um, the grandmother. I need to know what's going on, basically. I feel like I've stepped into some sort of time warp. We love Ross. Yes, we do join Cornwall Cougars season two. Rawr! Mickey Flanagan, welcome to the Anglophile Channel Studios. Would you like to join the Cornwall Cougars? Who he... would Rawr! not like to join the Cornwall Cougars? I think he needs to be pole dark. I think we'd yes. like to pole dark you. Is that OK? I'm, I'm always in for a good polling. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, is this major like day or what? I am liking this. Is, this. this is like the craziest lap dancing club I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> so I need some explanations yes. of what's going on here. Well, we're the Anglophile Channel. Yes. The Anglophile Channel was created because we are absolute Anglophiles. We love everything about Britain. Mm -hmm. And so in the Anglophile Channel, we have several different shows that cater to an Anglophile audience. We have recap shows dedicated to Outlander called Outlandish. We had one called Downton Dish, and now this is Poldark Dark Dish, which recaps uh, in a fast, snappy way, Poldark. Uncle Ray's been under the weather. His urine is unusually sweet. <laughs> Wonder who had to run that test for him. Oh, no. Hmm. Americans appear to me to be far more patriotic. I do observe that. I observe that um, we celebrate 4th of July and it's a huge patriotic. I mean, you've just come into our community yeah. and you see there's flags everywhere and bunting everywhere. And even though we celebrate it, I think Americans still look to England as the mother country. They don't see the as the old enemy. We had a celebration on July 3rd, proper British breakfast on yeah. July 3rd, so we could celebrate still being British. We had um, kippers. I know you like kippers. Oh, you got to have kippers. Yeah. <laughs> kippers, they were yeah, then, But good, then you get too. a bone in your throat, you end up like the Queen Mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, she they, died from they, they tried everything. Really? They tried giving her bread, it wouldn't go down. Yeah, she was like that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. She wasn't amused, apparently. <laughs> But why do they love Britain so much? Well, we are unique in that, you know, we have such a great history that it must be fascinating to people who live in a country that's about 20 years old. You know, they've got no history.